So I remove uh, the mufflers to my bike and the front engine is the one that's uh, seized. And when I took out the mufflers, metal pieces came out of the muffler like from the connection right here. And then when I took the exhaust out of the um, the engine, this one, the back one, is normal looking, filled with carbon. But when you look at the front one, let's see if you guys can see. I'm trying to put a flash. Uh, there's metal pieces in there. Like, let me just stick my finger in there. And you can just see, like, I don't know, that might be the piston. It looks like it might be the piston. I'm hoping it's the piston because if it's the cylinder walls, um, this engine is toast. At least, well, this side of the cylinder. But um, I'm just removing this whole engine off the frame right now but yeah look at all those metal shavings crazy with this like big chunks Let's see if we can try to focus you know what it does it looks like it is a piston Yeah, it looks like it might be piston. So I already have uh, my VT engine right here. And um, uh, just getting it off the frame, I get a better look uh, through the ports. Uh, and right now I just took a peek in the intake port. And um, I am going to try to show you guys what I just <laughs> saw. And you can see uh, since this is the intake and the intake has two valves. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see that but you can see the valves right there. And you see that and it looks like a port in... The one on the right side, that is broken. So that broke off. And let me see if we can focus. Like, if you can look really closely, like, you see the left side and then the right side. Well, that's one of the damages. Uh, I'm not sure if. Anything else got damage in there, but I'm going to start to disassemble this engine and take a closer look. As I'm waiting for uh, new parts to come in, um, this is the, the, front end, the front cylinder that was messed up. And uh, what I'm doing right now as I wait for parts is to, I'm just like cleaning the surface where uh, the cylinder head and right here meet. So I'm just removing old gasket and cleaning it up. Like you can see this, this is quite a difference from uh, the rear cylinder. I still need to like first I'm going to try to clean this one and then I'll be moving on to that one so this is the one that got messed up and that one over here is the one that's um, good as you can see like the rod the crank rod um, there is some damage to this not not really but like um, if let me try to focus like it's just like it, it is gushed up and scraped but like I was um just testing like 
if there's play like going up and down and like there is none at all and um uh like just checking inside right here and i mean i i feel like this will this is good enough to not even like open the bottom end uh there is some metal shavings inside and there was some big pieces which i i had I have a magnetic tool and i stick it into and i got some of the i got the larger pieces out there's very little ones so i'm going to be doing the process of flushing the bottom end and um trying to just drain out all the bottom end um but like i i've rotated it the crankcase and it's it, it's going smoothly um i checked this one i checked the back one it, they're pretty good so um worst case scenario is that you know i would have to split the cases because it it, spl it splits like that so um uh for the meantime i do not want it would be ideal to not uh just do an entire entire engine rebuild just the top end um i did had to per the thing is with this bike it's so difficult to find a piston for this bike like any piston and so um i found one on ebay and it came the thing is when you uh when i was searching like the there were this, there was this solid that was selling the front engine the front piston and with the the front cylinder with the front piston and then he was also selling the rear cylinder with the rear piston and uh there are no seller selling any piston by itself for this specific motorcycle in any year this was made so um i had to pay a good amount of uh, buying this piston which came with a new cylinder for the front end i could have used my old one it wasn't that bad. There was a little like gorgeous, but like I could have honed it down and like it would have been fine. But um I purchased this new uh cylinder that came with uh the piston. And the good thing about this uh purchase was that the cylinder is honed, so I don't have to hone this front cylinder. I will have to do the rear cylinder myself, hone it which I've done before on my uh, CB350 that is over there. So I ordered um, a new, that new cylinder with the piston, a new uh, front uh, head cylinder because the, my old one was just so bad. It was really, it's really bad. I tr I'll try to take a pictures or a video of that. And show you and um i'll have to order a new uh cover of this because this part it broke this is where the clutch cable holds on to and this top part broke I'm going to take like a week for all these parts to arrive i ordered new uh piston ring sets for both of the cylinders i uh ordered a new head gasket set Let's see what else I ordered. Uh, I think that's all I can remember for the moment. But yeah. So, um. Just for, uh, like, try to give you guys a visual. This is where the front part of the 
bike is so the front wheel will go over here and back wheel over here and this is the rear where the rear cylinder goes and the front cylinder this is a v-twin engine and um this is the one that got messed up it's just gonna take a little bit of patience to get this bike going again and i'll keep in touch take care